This is Bonnie with TLC and today I am going to be attempting the fishbone stitch and French knots. So to get started we're just going to do our away knot to secure our thread. And I have a little leaf design here so we're going to use that for the fishbone. So we come up at the top of our leaf and then um, in the middle of the leaf you're going to go down oh, about a third or a quarter of the way down into your leaf, straight down. And then we're supposed to come up on the left side of that stitch, again at the top of our leaf. And we're going to cross over and drop down below the stitch, just slightly to the right of it. So we're actually creating like a long skinny X as you can see the thread will cross over. There you can see that it's crossed over in kind of an X fashion. So now we come back up on the right side of the top of the leaf of our last stitch. And we're going to cross over and drop down to the right side and a little bit below the last stitch. back over to the other side. Now again you come up on the left side staying on the outline of your leaf. You come up and then go back down on the right side. Now I noticed on this stitch that <clears throat> it could have been a little bit more to the right. I actually went to the center line and that may cause a stacking effect on my stitches. Okay, now we go back over to the right and come up and cross back over to the lower left. Drop a little bit below and to the left of the center. And you keep on doing this back and forth. And you can see it's starting to fill in. Now we're back on the left and we're going to cross over again. Up and over to the right, lower right. And you can see it's starting to fill in the top of the leaf there. And I know when I first started this, I thought there's no way this is going to fill in the leaf, but it's amazing how it all fills in like this. You just keep on going. And then you get down to where you have just this little bit left on the side sometimes, <clears throat> and you've already filled in your space at the very center bottom. So um, in that case, you just have to kind of fill in the, the remaining edges by just going back and forth on, on each side until it's filled in like a satin stitch. Now remember I'm learning with you or you're learning with me so I haven't done a lot of this. Um, I have practiced it a few times so I'm still getting the hang of it and um, you just got to be careful that you don't get a stacked up look you can see I have a couple threads that look a little bit stacked. So now the second method that may be easier is to do an outline stitch first. So on this one I did the back stitch and outlined my leaf. And then the rest of it is just done the same as we as we did the last one. So you're going to go down about a quarter of a way into your leaf in the center with that first straight stitch and then you're going to come back up on the, the left side right outside your um, outline stitch and then back down on the right hand side of the straight stitch and a little bit below it creating that X and then up on the right side and then down on the left side and below the stitch 
and you're going to keep on going like that and you want to keep your stitches close together and at the right angle for the leaf so up on the left and then back down on the right just below your last stitch and you just keep on going in that same rhythm that we did on the first one and so there's my first one and my second one. I actually did better on the second one. But uh, now we got to fill in these little, the bottom of this leaf. This leaf doesn't have as much of a curve to it, so I didn't end up having to fill in the sides um, as much as I did on the first one. Practice, 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 I guess. So this is the basic technique. Okay, so we just about got this one all complete. And here's our away knots. You can cut those off. And now we're going to go into the French knot, which is very easy to do. Okay, this is what they look like. And again, I have my away knot to keep my thread secure. So now I'll show you a, a once through on. I'm doing this. So you pull your thread up and then you're going to grab the thread with your left hand and put your needle underneath it and just go ahead and wrap your thread around two or three times. I usually do three because I think it makes a nicer French knot if you want something veinier, daintier, excuse me, then you would probably use only one or two strands. Anyway, then you just go right back down right next to your stitch that you came up in. And this up creates your your French knot. Pretty easy to do. So that's the lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.